This is the periodic table, noble gas is stable. Good morning, Lake Nona, and welcome back to Science Spotlight. My name is Gabby Irons, and today we turn our attention to boas and pythons, like my friend here, Johnny. Boa constrictors, commonly referred to as boas, are non-venomous snakes that literally hug their prey to death. A boa would wrap its body around the animal and squeeze it until its blood flow is interrupted and the prey dies. After all that, the boa will eat the body of its prey whole. Boas have hooked teeth that are not used for chewing. Teeth are used for catching prey. They also have heat receptors that are used for detection of warm-blooded prey. Other than that, the boa uses its sense of smell to find its victim. These snakes feast on small mammals such as rats, squirrels, and bats. Boas are considered new world snakes, meaning they're only found in the Western Hemisphere. Females actually give birth to live babies, delivering up to 60 babies at a time. And now it's time for a quiz. This week's question is how long does it take a reticulated python to kill and swallow a whole adult deer? Is it A, 5 minutes, B, 60 minutes, C, 8 hours, or D, 24 hours? Lock in your answers now. The answer is B, 60 minutes. Records have shown that reticulated pythons can cut off a deer's blood circulation in a matter of seconds. It's the swallowing that takes the most time. Next up are pythons. Much like the boa, pythons are non-venomous and rely on constriction to capture their prey. One of the biggest differences between the boa and the python is frankly its size. Pythons can grow to be 30 feet, while boas can only reach about 14 feet. A python's diet consists of mostly rodents and small birds. They can also eat wild animals, such as monkeys, antelopes, and caimans. Pythons attack their prey from ambush. Pythons also have heat-sensing organs, which help them locate the prey. They are well camouflaged and usually hidden in the trees. You'll be able to find these massive snakes reside in Asia, Africa, Oceania, and Australia. That's it for today's episode of Science Spotlight. Tune in next week to hear about crocodiles and alligators, and don't forget to visit our YouTube channel at the link displayed on screen. Stay nerdy, Lake Nona.